Oh, last look at the, some storage boxes and what's happening this evening. Well, afternoon, YouTube. Here with you on a uh, Tuesday afternoon. It is 1.08 in the afternoon. Uh, my clock says 1.15. I just checked my phone just to make sure. It's like seven minutes off now, so I don't know. Whatever. Uh, the storage boxes are sitting here. Um, I uh, kind of doing a preliminary type cleanup now. These I don't know if I I even showed these, but I bought these at uh, Dollar Tree um, one day when I was over there. Now these are uh, I think these are fixed. Uh, okay, these are the uh, dividers dividers for them. They're little dividers there. Uh, so that's that's another little that's a, that'd be for like transistors or something like that I think um, you know it looks to me like so uh, I'm gonna have to utilize those this one here is another one I think I bought at uh, um, Home, De or Home Depot um, Dollar Tree and it is uh, the uh, what do you call it they're not adjustable in this one they are fixed but again, another one for uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 compartments there that uh, could be used. And uh, that, that would be handy also. Um, so, going to be, uh, see if I can get that, it's awfully loose, maybe I can get that, uh, there, get the uh, label off. Now the last little box is not one I bought. This is, uh, I think, the batteries for um, my, uh, yeah, the EBLs for the uh, camera came in this, and I thought, well, you know, I could use that for something, and it is, you know, something I could use, I'm sure, for something, but I don't know what. But I want to do save that. You know, I know I'm a hoarder, and that, that's that's worth saving there. You know, here's the an, another example of the boxes I keep. You know. <laughs> Where, where I'll use these at, I have no idea. This is the one, the uh, battery for the uh, well, MP3 player came in at. And uh, so I have no idea why I would bother keeping that. But there it was on the bench, uh, on the bench over there by the tube tester. And, you know, when I was looking for these little boxes here, I thought, well, what in the world's that got going? And nothing, nearly. So, <laughs> um making this video to basically explain where I'm going to be tonight because I won't be here. Uh, I have to pick up Kylie after school and bring her back here and about 5 o'clock, somewhere around there, drop her off where they will have a play later on. Um, the, her school is putting on a play and Kylie is in it. so. Uh, it's, it's kind of a dinner theater. I don't know if I even told you guys about this, but uh, uh, I will be there. Uh, I think it's at 7. Uh, I think is the time of the play. And uh, like I say, I will be going to that. So, I'm going to try to take my little, uh, this camcorder here. And uh, maybe take a few shots. A little a few clips of her, maybe when she's on stage, if I can. I don't know how how the seating is. I just know it's a dinner type situation where we eat a spaghetti dinner and uh, they have the play. So I don't know how close we'll be or anything like that. So you know, I don't know what kind of pictures I'll get or video, whatever. So that's just a uh, quick update on that. What I will be doing. Um, we uh. We are in the middle, with well, the middle? No, I won't say the middle. <laughs> we are at the beginning of the polar vorte vortex. You guys have all heard about the polar vortex, I'm sure, by now. Um, if you haven't, you haven't been watching any news at all, or on the internet, on any news sites, or anything like that. Or maybe even have stepped out of your door. <laughs> Depending on where you live. Uh, I think it's... Uh, it's a pretty big swath in the Midwest that it's uh, covering, so you know I'm not uh, not really looking forward to it. I think it was uh, got down to 13 last night. Now that 13, yeah, you know when you're laying in your bed with a heated blanket, 
<laughs> 13, you know, it could be, you know, minus 50, you know, you wouldn't know. But what I'm saying is uh, it, it didn't really hit me until I got up. I kind of joke with Bob that uh, I uh, had made the jump to hyperspace. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just getting out of my bed from under that nice warm uh, blanket and uh, turning the heat on in the house. It was at 63, and I, I have went up a little bit. I used to take it down to 60, but I thought, you know, that's making the, the uh, furnace run too hard to try to go from 60 to 68. So I, I've made it 63 now, and it doesn't run much at 63 during the night, so... And uh, like I said, once I turn the uh, heat up, the uh, furnace has been running mostly constant since then. Uh, let's see what temperature is outside at the moment. I think it's supposed to be up to 20, 20 something maybe today, um, which is you know, okay. It's at 15 at the moment. Um, it is supposed to, according to this, get up to 19. So uh, 19, 20 was a little bit. Uh, um, generous I guess optimistic whatever you want to call it but anyway tonight the the predicted low here is uh, they're saying three on the phone now that's weather bug I don't know how many of you guys use weather bug but um, I think Google says minus three and something else I can't remember uh, what else I, I listened to but anyway it is supposed to be cold uh, now that's not as as cold as you guys up north with your minus 25s and stuff like that. I understand that. But for us down here in the normally um, fairly mild winter type uh, situations, I'm not we we get some winter obviously and uh, you know, it's uh, minus 3 is pretty cold. <laughs> uh, but anywho, that's uh, supposed to be tonight. And then I think maybe it's maybe it's tonight to minus or the three, and maybe tomorrow night's to minus three. I don't know, but anyway, the next few days it is going to be cold. I can tell you that. Now, uh, Google is again being optimistic. It's saying by Monday it would be up to sixty. I'm not seeing it. Now, uh, Weatherbug does not say that. It says twenty or 33 I think uh, for Monday so <laughs> there's quite a discrepancy there so uh, it depends on who you listen to I guess and if uh, Google uses a weather channel uh, weather channel has been so inac inac inaccurate at least here um, that I don't even bother looking at it anymore because um, it just never is close to what we actually get so anywho that's that Okay, didn't really mean to make another video log of this, but it looks like I'm doing that. Um, just wanted to kind of catch you guys up and show you what I was doing or tell you what I was doing. And uh, once uh, Kylie, Kylie's uh, play is over with, and uh, I still haven't got the tire fixed. Not for you guys that's wondering about that, I have been pumping it up. I, I pumped it up the other day when I went to Home Depot, and it's still up. Uh, I had a visit from my brother-in-law and sister yesterday, and that took up a lot of uh, of uh, time as far as, you know, visiting with them. And we went to uh, Steak and Shake and ate, and uh, then they went back. They usually come up uh, from Lexington, Kentucky, and they uh, stay at Belterra down in, uh, around Vivi, Indiana. And uh, that's a casino for anybody that doesn't know. And uh, they get uh, comp rooms, you know what I mean, it doesn't cost them anything, and they... They like to gamble a little bit as far as pulling the slots and things, and you know that's what they enjoy. That's that's fine. Uh, I, I, you know, it's just whatever. It's just like me doing this, you see, a lot of people look at this thing. Why do you do that? <laughs> well, I do it because I enjoy it. <laughs> you know, uh, most people do what they want to do. You know what I'm saying? It's just uh, if you didn't enjoy it, why would you sit in here and do it? Well, that's that's a good question. And I do enjoy it, so, you know, like I said, uh, that's why I do it. But, uh, and that's why they do what they do. So, you know, it's it's everybody to themselves, and I'm happy they came by and saw me, and, and uh, we had a nice little visit and talk, and uh, as we usually do when we get together. Now, this summer, I'm hoping, uh, very much hoping, and, and Jim, that's uh, my brother-in-law, he's a car guy, and he's the one that got me into uh, buying, well, I didn't get me into it, but he went with me when I bought my Buick, and uh, that was almost to South Dakota. 
and uh, we had a good trip that time and uh, brought that back and he has a 39 Buick and uh, he has it uh, fixed up as a street rod and he usually goes to street rod nationals in Louisville every year and uh, I'm not really into that scene but uh, I kind of like old cars and stuff but anyway he, he looked at the uh, rust spots on the uh, new uh, Toyota that I got and said yeah it wouldn't be any problem we could cut those out and uh, slap some new metal in there and weld it in and I think both sides are going to be done I got the feeling around down there yesterday as we was looking at it and there is a hole on the other side too but it's just down so low you can't see it and so we're going to do that hopefully some of the summer I'll drive down to his place and uh, we'll take him he's got angle grinders and I'm going to take my uh, Dremel with the uh, cutoff wheel and we'll, we'll get in there and cut the bad spot out and get some new metal uh, welded in and and then I can tank, I can bring it back home and finish it up from there because uh, the only thing I really don't do is is weld and uh, you know I can paint basically I want to paint it back the same color obviously and get the base coat on there and then get a can of uh, clear and go over it it is where it's at I'm going to try to keep it localized as best as possible because it's going to be you know, it, it doesn't matter how well you try to match something like that. It's just almost impossible, unless you're professional. I mean, you know, but I'm obviously not a professional. And uh, I'm going to uh, try to match it best I can and keep the area to a minimum of where we paint and sand, things like that, or where I paint and sand. And uh, get as close as I can and make it look presentable. And the main thing is, you know, make it so it's not rusted. <laughs> And that's the big thing, and uh, I, I don't like the rust, obviously. And uh, anytime you, you catch rust like that, you want to nip it in the bud, as old Barn used to say on the Andy Griffin Show. And uh, so, <laughs> that's what I plan to do. All right, I have gabbed long enough. It is 11, almost 12 minutes now. So, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see ya. Maybe with a, a little cl few clips from Kylie's play, hopefully. See ya.